So I'll be talking about rapid alternating hand movement test, which is basically examination for coordination. All right, it's a method for examination for coordination. All right, so our focus is the rapid alternating hand movement test. Okay, which is a method for uh, examination for coordination. All right, so you can see this rapid hand test is basically two types. There are two ways you could do rapid hand test. All right. The person could put their hand like this and be turning it so fast, so fast. Then the last one, the person could put their hand on their laps, okay, and be turning it up and down so fast, all right, as rapid alternating hand movement test. So you could ask your, your patient to place each hand on the ipsilateral tie, and they should face it up, that's anteriorly, and they should turn it back posteriorly as fast as they can. Okay, so you can see you turn it up, turn it down, turn it up, turn it down, turn it up. Do you understand? That's a rapid hand movement test. Then the next one, the next type of rapid hand movement test, you could ask the patient to place one hand over the next and have them flip one hand back and forth as fast as possible. Right? So you place one hand over the next, now flip it back, flip it front, flip it back flip it front, flip it back, flip it front as fast as you can. That's why it is called rapid alternating hand movement test, okay? And this is what is used for testing or examination for coordination, all right? So alternatively, you can ask the patient to quickly tap their foot on the floor as fast as possible, right? So you could ask the patient to tap their foot on the floor as, as fast as possible. And if it is abnormal, it is called dysdiadocokinesia. Okay? And this dysdiadocokinesia is simply defined as uh, inability to perform rapid alternating hand movement tests. All right? So, guys, this is it about rapid hand tests and how to perform and the abnormality of it. Okay? So, bye for now, guys.